my spouse, dead or alive? What am I talking about? Look, I actually put a black tie. This is appropriate. I should actually put this with divorce, I think. But some people actually want a flowery tie for divorce. They're so happy. But let's stick with my spouse, dead or alive. Have you thought about if your spouse checks out of life? You know, passes away, dies, whatever you want to call it. Are you ready for that? All this ambient noise you hear, that was just... The client just left. That was a... Lotus. Lotus, yeah, was a, that was a lotus. <laughs> yeah, they made no drive from the window, okay? Sometimes you hear the girls talking, phones going off. This is a real office, okay? Like other shows, they just sit in the car and they talk crap. What's your spouse worth? What are they worth? Call it a partner, call it a spouse. How the heck do I care? I got a wife. I go to my wife. What is she worth? When I first married my wife, I insured her for $750,000. Well, not when I married her. All right, hold on. A couple years later, we had two kids. And she had confessed to me she wanted 14 kids. Now, I didn't believe it. I figured, well, there'll be a lot of sex at least, so why not? So we wound up with seven, okay? But after two, I was doing the math. These kids are kind of expensive. In fact, today, because we're in the state of Florida, it's a great state. Let me tell you, you got to think about moving to the state. There's something called Florida Prepaid College. We can prepay your kid's college before they turn 18, either monthly or, you know, they take it out so much. You could contribute even more if you want. There's a straight plan to tell you how much it costs, or you could put it in a, like in a stock market plan or whatever. I, I don't trust stocks, what can I say? I always show it was a straight plan. I'll pay it. One of my daughters, she's uh, her last year of high school, her plan cost 6500 bucks, And her four years of university in the state of Florida are paid for. At the same time, now my son, who's five, his plan cost $37,000. I got about 10 grand to go and he'll be done. But today, my 10 year old daughter, my wife came in today and said, Robert, you ready? Said, Let's do it. And we just paid her off. It was like we owed 9,100, paid her off. And I like that feeling because with kids, I, I know I'm digressing, I always do that, but don't worry, stick with me. We're going to get back to dead or alive. When my kids are in high school, they want a car, they want dad to help them, they want a phone. They cost a lot more money. Trust me, you can't pay college and a car and so many things. So. Now with seven, you gotta plan all this, pre-plan all this. So pre-plan insurance. Now maybe you're lucky, your spouse works for the state or the county or big government to give a big insurance policy because you may need it. How much will it cost to protect you in case your spouse passes away? That's really a big question. You gotta think about that. But if you have insurance, well, I'm not selling insurance, there's no uh, click here, none of that crap. I'm not sponsored by an insurance company, nothing like that. I'm just telling you the way it is, the truth. My father had an insurance license, so he could sell insurance. I took the course in the state of Florida years ago just to learn more about it. I learned a whole lot about it. You get something called term. Term is you buy a like, term of years, like 20 years, 30 years of insurance. It's really cheap because you only buy a little bit, and you're buying during the time that people are usually alive. I mean, my wife was 24, 29, 26 when I put insurance on her, when she put insurance on herself, 26, for the next 40 years. So, till 66. At 67, there's no insurance. But the kids are all out of the house. We had care. It was just in case something happened to her and I had three or four kids, I, I, I got to hire uh, people to help me out. I think we'd all agree men are kind of useless. Well, we're usually good for one thing, at least for two, but... I'm, I'm very fortunate in that my wife chose to stay at home with our kids. A lot of, a lot of wives can't do that. My mom couldn't do that. She, she worked. I mean, she worked like a dog. My wife works like, like seven dogs because she's still those kids, taking them here and taking them there. She's running constantly all the time. And she does the books to the office and you know, other properties we have. She's busy. Trini and I never really thought about a, taking a computer course, doing accounting, or speaking English. And here I am in America, 
because she's from Spain. Speaking English, doing the books, like four businesses. Uh, you need a good spouse. Uh, you got to find uh, not a good louse, a good spouse, okay? The question is, hey, Bob, do you have insurance in your life? Yes, I do. Yeah. I, I put insurance on myself, so if I pass away, she's protected. I want them protected because when you're 15, 16, 21, 22, you don't think about that kind of stuff. Uh, you have a huge future. But I thought about it. I said, if we're going to have kids, I better get insurance just in case something happens to her, something happens to me. I want dead or alive. How much you? How much are you worth? Okay, I'm worth a couple million bucks dead. I'm worth a whole. Uh, I'm worth a whole lot more alive. But you know, something happened to me. She'll be very well off. How about that? Something happens to her. It's only seven hundred fifty thousand bucks. I have to get a French, you know, maid. And what are you kidding? I don't speak French. Ooh la la. That's about it. Okay. But no, I mean. In our home today, how many kids do we have left anyway? Let me see. Uh, yeah, out of this marriage, well, out of the first marriage, they're both gone. One's a lawyer, one works with me over here. She does real estate also. Out of this marriage, my son's in law school, finished his second year currently. The next daughter, she just got married and she'll finish school in about a year. Uh, computer science, she's gonna make a ton of money. Uh, daughter after that, Sandra, she says it's Air Force Academy, so her future's made. Just I tell her, we fly warthogs. <laughs> That's a plane, okay? I want her to fly that. She says, no. Who knows? The daughter after that, she's applying to the top schools in America because she's most likely one of the smartest kids we have. It's incredible how smart that kid came out. I mean, I, I want a DNA test to make sure she's related to me because, man, she is smart. And she's a hard worker, three degrees of black belt, uh, plays the piano, does, gives concerts. What the heck? Where's she piled up from? Man, I have no idea. Whew. The next one's in high school. She's quiet, like the mother, doesn't talk much, but she has a lot of common sense. So I know she won't get in trouble because she has a lot of common sense. But we're talking about how much you're worth, dead or alive. And I don't want my spouse to die, okay? And if we have to die, please let me go first. I don't want to hire those French uh, young ladies to take care of me when I'm old. No, no. I want to grow old together. The passing away will happen by itself, but uh, you know, women, they have an edge, they outlive us anyway, okay? I'm not sure if it's the food they give us or what, but they always live longer than men in my family. Insurance is important. It's a just in case thing. And I, I did a video before about planning a divorce. Well, part of living is the other part, <laughs> you know, death, taxes, death, and taxes. So. Death is coming for everybody. I'm not a morbid person, but I think about these things and I want to make sure my family's protected. How about you? You want to make sure your family's protected? Now, some people think, hey, don't worry about it. Her mom and dad are rich. They'll leave us all stuff. Who knows? Who knows they'll leave you anything? Maybe you weren't that, that good to them. Maybe they'll leave you less than you think. Be careful. Always rely on yourself. But how much is someone worth dead or alive? Well, if he has a profession, she could be worth quite a bit, or he could be worth quite a bit. If they're school teachers or union members, there's always an insurance policy. Those things you got to think about. My spouse, yeah, she's worth uh, yeah, 10 million bucks, I think. I got to take care of her, at least 10 million. Or for me, 100 million, okay? And I don't want to live without her. Now she's leaving for a couple weeks. She's going to Spain. She's going to take a couple of kids to Europe and be with grandma and grandpa. One of her daughters, who's 10, is now in school in Spain. So she's returning her. But uh, it's going to be a lonely two weeks. I'm here with two other girls in the dog. I don't know which is my best friend, the dog or the girls, but the girls really take care of me, okay? But the most important thing is, as we go through this journey of life, to make sure that certain things are taken care of so we can sleep very easy at night in case something is to happen and that one thing you could do you could put insurance on yourself and then give it to your spouse because i can't insure her the killer that would be against the law i think it used to happen they would insure people and whack them that's not the law you can't do that i just can't insure a guy across the street and then have him knocked off that'd be a great business but you know 
That's not going to happen. Only the person alive can take out insurance. And that person then can transfer the ownership of the policy to whoever they want. And as long as that policy is paid monthly or yearly or quarterly to the very end, it's an active policy and should party A expire, party B gets all the benefits known as a tax-free benefit. Okay, whether it's a quarter million, a million, or 10 million. So keep all those things in mind. Life insurance is pretty cool. It's pretty tricky. I've had a lot of guys come here try to sell me insurance, and since I took the course, I didn't say nothing. I just shut up. But you know what? There's a lot of sleazy people selling insurance. You be very careful. Very careful. Okay? Because they can make huge amounts of money. Doesn't mean they're going to give you good advice. So if anything, you could, you know, you could take a weekend. It's a weekend. Two weekends. That's all it is. Two weekends. Like six hours on Saturday, Saturday, something like that. Two weekends in a row. You'll know everything about it. You can take a license if you want. And you're going to learn a lot. You don't even take the license. Don't worry about the stupid test. Go to the class and learn a lot before you buy it. It's one of the few instruments you go learn a lot about before you buy. You're going to be better off. So, dead or alive, how much are you worth? I don't know. Everybody's worth a different number. Find your number. Anyway, love you. I'll see you around. So, you take care of yourself, okay? Stay alive. Stay alive. Most important.